Oh. Yo, dudes. Um, I think I get up, you know, a lot for sunrise, and it's something often it's hard to get out of bed, but you never regret it. And you always go, wow, it was beautiful. It helps you kind of appreciate, or at least it helps me appreciate the beauty of nature and our small little role is part of all this. And it's amazing going down to the same beach. Every morning it's different. The light's different. The tides are different. Seaweed looks different. It just it changes every day. The seagulls, their whole relationship is amazing. Um, Feeling a little tired. We're heading into TV3 today to do a cooking demo and then we're doing a, a kind of a team strategy building, so exciting in that regard. Uh, welcome to the shop. Back to the shop. Just packing up all the bits to get ready for the cooking demo. Uh, cooking demo? Yeah, I suppose it is a cooking demo. Kind of demo. Yeah, that's, the, that's, the that's where cooking look. Let me see this. Oh, sorry, it's very exposed. Oh, there we go. Three grain quinoa protein salad. That is one of our recipes. Yeah, it is marble. Uh, and then we're doing another one as well. About salads today. Doing this one, yeah. They're the two we're doing. So here we are in the car, we just finished uh, TV3, our bit on telly, went great, great fun and lovely when you're chatting with Mark who's the presenter and he was kind of saying that's possibly the nicest salad he's ever had so um, big shout out to Mark. Um, so the two salads that we made, you'll see here, this was the three minute rocket star salad, real simple, super tasty, delicious. Two minute rocket star Two minutes, salad. sorry. Two minutes, oh, got it wrong, two minutes, well, took me three. Oh. Oh. Uh, so that's the salad and there's the quinoa protein salad. So this is a three colored quinoa protein salad with kind of fillet. Filleted oranges, goji berries, uh, edamame beans, kind of nice mint, nice kind of dressing. There's a nice kind of just simple carrot balsamic vinegar dressing. Yeah, Very simple. Um, so while we are driving in the car, we're off to a Direct. strategic director strategic me meeting. Off site secret pair. squirrel. Off site secret squirrel meeting. Wow. Uh, of course, we we'll take you guys with us. Um, but I will feed my brother with the spoon. Um, so I've probably eaten a good bit already, but I want to. Okay, so we'll probably have eaten mm. salad for breakfast. You know, there's a, so this is this is what it's going to be. So we've about an hour-long journey in the car. So um, we will definitely eat all this salad. So we're just finished. We finished the morning session. It was great crack, really good. I don't know if crack's the word, but very insightful learning. Look, here we are. Uh, so I've only I snacked on a couple of bars there, feeling hungry now. I think some lady, some foraging lady called Wild Mary is bringing us for a foraging walk now. Hi, Wild Thanks Mary. <laughs> I'm Wild David. Hi, Wild David. See these ones, the kind of slighter ones. Yeah. See these but they've flowers. seeds hanging off them as well. No, they have flowers. Okay, and if you look, when, when, the, when the male flowers are young, they're straight out like this and they're a little bit perky like this. Wow, okay, they're perky. When you look then and the males are getting a bit floppy, they've probably in there. done their job. <laughs> <laughs> Cashew, parsnip, can olive oil, red pepper, stuffed courgette flour. It's like a potato base with roasted veg. This is chanterelles from Mary's Garden. It's a kale kind of quinoa salad. Pretty unreal. 
between his Irish communion. But this Sunday, say, he had um, two guests who wanted to go on a forage, so we said, great. And then said, do you mind if we make it public? And they said, not at all. So I had people from all around came, and we had about 14 people in the library for the day, just came back there to make something and went out walking around talking. And But sometimes we do it, and then Paddy makes dinner as well. So it's a whole Great idea. idea. And Shoot. it's got <laughs> not cooked, beautiful leash, county leash frahons on top. Frahons. Yeah. Frahon, it sounds like a Colleen, Gaholeen. Well, it should be. So they're just macerated in a little bit of sugar and lime zest and juice. Jeez, wow, that was one of the best meals I've ever had, really. Massive shout out to Paddy the chef down here in uh, Randwood House. Really incredible job. And he's not a vegan himself, but he managed to put on a, a banquet vegan fair with lots of wild food from the garden, forage food and everything. Amazing. Wow. Uh, I think that was one of the best vegan meals I've ever had. Particularly eating out, you never know what you're going to get. But I think I'd probably give that a, a 12 out of 10. I would say really, really next level vegan cuisine. Really super, super good. Here we are. Here's where I'm eating it. This is their meeting room for maze and like see that? It's the library with the spiral staircase. Wow, what a super cool place to be meeting. Uh, really cool. Amazing. Great for our creativity. There's the people there. Uh, off on my way back home now. Gonna have some energy balls here. Got some here. Uh, that lunch today was amazing, really, really was. It was one of the best kind of lunches I'd had out that wasn't kind of cooked within it was just out randomly, you know, it was really good and reorganized it all, so it was brilliant. Big shout out to Roundwood House. Very, very impressive to see, to, indeed. Uh, really cater for the vegans um, and those, the vegetable enthusiasts. And big shout out to Wild Mary. Amazing, super cool knowledge about all things herbs and whatnot. Uh, I'm definitely gonna follow up and do more stuff with her. That's the plan anyway. But yeah, thanks again for watching. Big love, sincere thank you, gratitude. Um, big shout out to you, thank you. Uh, leave us a comment with anything that you want us to, you know, any questions, anything you'd like us to do. Um, and yeah, thanks William, bye. Mwah, mwah, mwah.